Welcome to the W. I'm AJ Bate. Are these Aleppo's final hours? The Assad regime and their Russian allies have surrounded Aleppo, bombarding the rebel stronghold and its innocent civilians in an attempt to retake the city from the Syrian rebels. The United States and the UN stand by only watching to blame Russia and the Assad regime for the destruction of Aleppo. U.S. officials estimate Aleppo, bombarded by Syrian and Russian strikes, could collapse in the coming days, with up to 300,000 civilians trapped in the city. What the U.S. believes is little clean drinking water and no medical care. After Secretary of State John Kerry finished talking to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, Kerry said the U.S. is on the verge of suspending the discussions with Russia, which could have led to a ceasefire. This ceasefire would have grounded the Syrian aerial attack on the city of Aleppo and would have paved the way for a greater U.S. Corporate, uh, US Russian cooperation on the attacking ISIS. Russia will have to account for their actions in the context of consequences they are likely to provoke, said John Ernest, a White House correspondent said. Since March 2011, the civil war in Syria has been claiming the lives of thousands of Syrians. There are four sides to the Syrian conflict, the Assad regime, the Syrian rebels, ISIS, and the Kurds. The Syrian rebels are fighting to end Assad's reign over Syria. Meanwhile, the Assad regime is fighting to keep control over the region. ISIS is fighting to fulfill their caliphate while the Kurds are trying to protect themselves from ISIS. As the city comes closer to destruction with no health services, food, or water, these civilians are hoping for a savior to save them from the death by the regime and the Russian bombs. Kerry, a, Kerry stated a ceasefire would put an end to the barreling bombs and an end to indiscrimination bombing of civil, civilian neighborhoods. The United States and Uni United Nations are imposing a no-fly zone over the city with U.S. and Allied warplanes patrolling and monitoring the area in hopes to provide humanitarian aid. I'm AJ Bate and this is the W.